Hello, we're so glad you're taking a moment to review the Diversity and Inclusion Action Plan prepared by the members of the College of Education and Communications Diversity and Inclusion Task Force. This short video reviews the history, background, and conceptual framework that has shaped our three-year Diversity and Inclusion Action Plan. Our hope is that you will join us in bringing our action plan to implementation. Beginning with fall 2018, look for many ways to get involved through sharing resources, engaging in learning activities, and attending events. Although this work began with an amazing task force comprised of your colleagues, it is up to all of us to bring it to fruition. In 2013, Dr. Pablo Mendoza of the Office of Social Equity approached the college to inquire about our activities with diversity. While there were pockets of excellence in the areas of diversity, inclusion, and cultural incompetence, these themes had not been a focus in dialogue, priorities, or reports. In 2014, Drs. West, Briscoe, and Shafrath worked with Dr. Mendoza to set out to adapt Ingrid Grieger's organizational development checklist to collect baseline data in preparation of a diversity and inclusion action plan. The survey found that the college's faculty, staff, and administrators appear to be either polarized in their perceptions or uncertain about what our college does or does not do with respect to diversity and multiculturalism. In 2016, a larger group of faculty and staff convened to create the Diversity and Inclusion Task Force, DIT. The action plan is best represented by four cycles that are dynamic, interactive, and concurrent. An individual can enter the process at any given cycle. The reflection cycle involves constant data collection and ongoing evaluation. The key to this cycle is reflection and open dialogue that will enable us to identify our strengths and weaknesses. The sharing cycle involves gathering and sharing diversity-related resources, which provides a wide range of activities that support the meaningful exchange of ideas with respect to diversity and inclusion. The experimentation cycle builds on the work of the reflection and sharing cycles. The goal in this cycle is to move from the individual and small group efforts to developing new or experimental programs, strategies, tools, and initiatives to enhance diversity efforts throughout the college. Finally, the transformation cycle's goal is to realign policies and practices that reflect a transformation in thinking. This cycle involves adopting policies and best practices that affect change in the structure and operation of the college. The action plan is designed to operate across multiple levels as well as across various dimensions of the college's functions. These dimensions include recruitment and retention of students, recruitment and retention of staff and faculty, curriculum, teaching, scholarship, professional development and service, and college and departmental operations. As part of the development process, a goal and possible strategies were developed for each dimension, providing focus and guidance as the committee begins to implement the plan. Consideration of the IUP strategic plan was also used when developing each goal and is referenced at the end of the goal statement. This slide takes a closer look at the teaching dimension and focuses on how the college will help equip faculty with the knowledge, disposition, skills, and resources needed to model and deliver culturally responsive instruction. To the right of the goal, you will see possible strategies that were developed to meet the goal. The first strategy comes from the sharing cycle and includes the use of a repository that is populated with materials that support culturally responsive instruction. The second possible strategy comes from the experimenting cycle and impacts the peer chairperson teaching observation guides so that they include diversity and inclusion practices. The diversity and inclusion committee looks forward to continuing this work. Let's look at what the future holds. Several tangible action steps have been taken since the creation of the action plan. A theme college activity survey shed lights on several areas that our colleagues were involved in already. One change that came out of these findings was that every department meeting in the college now includes diversity and inclusion as an agenda item. Members of the college were invited to view a webinar that provided tips and tools to discuss recent events. In addition, a D2L site was created as a repository of resources 
for college administrators, faculty, and staff. This site contains information on action plan updates, resources to empower viewers, and classroom materials to empower students. To keep the momentum, the Diversity and Inclusion Standing Committee, or DIS, was formed in fall 2018. They will continue overseeing the implementation phase and help realize the action plan. We invite you to engage with us in this important work.